So, this morning we have a very special, we're going to jump straight into our sealer and if you uh, go on the website you can download uh, our, the, the little um, uh, pack for this morning. Um, so our sealer, uh, obviously we start with sing, so there's a very special sing that's going to happen this morning and I hope that it works. some internet connections issues um, about halfway through uh, the song but we will be uploading the song to YouTube afterwards so you can uh, watch it on its own and if you want to add yourselves into the video as well uh, please just um, record yourselves doing the actions for walk 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 and then send them in to me and we can add you into the video because it'd be really really great to get as many people um, into that video as possible um, yeah, so this morning we are looking at another attribute of God. And I know you started all of the attributes for God, of God um, before all of this uh, corona stuff happened. Um, and this morning we're going to look at God is judge. So we're going to look at the fact that God is a righteous judge and is... Can you hear that? Can you? I mean, it's not. Is it my phone? I, I don't. It's not my phone. Hang on. Nope, it's not my phone. It's not my. Do you know what? I think it might be Grandpa. You know, he's been really tired since he moved in. Should we try and wake him up? Grandpa! <sighs> Grandpa! Grandpa, you're Who's snoring. You're snoring again. Where are you? Over here. Oh, hello. Hey, Grandpa, are you all right? I, I'm all right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. I was just having a lovely dream. A nice dream. What was your dream about, Grandpa? I dreamt I was on Judge Judy. Judge Judy. Very attractive lady, Judy. Is she? Is she your type of woman? Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, okay. So why were you, what, why did you dream about being on a Judge Judy? Well, because people keep waking me up, you see, when I'm in my deepest, darkest sleep. Okay. I'm enjoying it. Okay. I'm dreams about Judy, and I want to take people on Judge Judy to punish them. To punish them? Yes, Tim. Funnily yeah. enough, I mean, you're having dreams about judges, and you're having dreams about punishment. Yes. Very, very strange. Um, 
funnily enough, you should say that. We're doing God is Judge this morning as part of our Bethel kids. God is Judge? God is Judge, yes. Wow. So God is both Judge and Saviour at the same time. And we're going to have a look at some passages this morning that kind of explain that to us. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to look and we're going to do the story from Joshua. And so we're going to do the story from Joshua and it's Joshua 6 and 7. For you, if you want to look it up in your Bible, if you've got the uh, International Children's Bible, it's page 243. Page what? 243. Cool. 243. Your age, Grandpa. Oh, wow, that's such a coincidence. Yes, I know, I know, it really is. I don't Fantastic know, I coincidence. Have Bible. So, I'll catch you up with what's happening because this comes at a really, really important part of the Bible and a, and a really, really. Um, Really, really busy part of the Bible. Really, 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 yes, Grandpa. Right, so Joshua, yeah, guy from the guy from the Old Testament, book written, book written about him, yeah, you know him well, yeah. He was a nice fellow. He was a nice fellow, yes. So Joshua has just led the people of Israel, and they have just taken Jericho. What do you mean taken? So they marched around the place for a while. Yes. They blew some trumpets. Wow. And then they shouted, and the walls came tumbling down. The whole city? Yep, the whole city. Wow. And they burnt it. Wow. To the ground. Incredible. Incredible, isn't it? Incredible. It really is. So they did that because God was with them. But you know what? God gave them some very, very special instructions of what to do. Because obviously the city had lots and lots of treasures and things like that in there. Wow. So God gave them some some very, very special instructions on what to do with those treasures and to keep them safe for the Lord himself. Wow. I know, I know. But guess what? What? There was this guy called Achan. Called what? Achan. Was he Welsh? He might have been. Uh, the way I pronounce it, he might have been Welsh. It may be Aiken, but I call it Achan, because there's a CH in there. So, so I go to the doctor. Yeah, so Achan. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yes. bless, bless me. You've just knocked your sign off, Grandpa. Oh, I am sorry. That's okay, I'll put it back up later. If I'm, you could, because I have no use of my arm. I will, uh, I will use a, a better hammer next time, definitely. So, there was this guy called Achan. Bless you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so he was from the tribe of Judah and do you know what he was a very very um, naughty person he disobeyed God he stole some of the silver some of the gold and some of the beautiful robes that's not good he it's, should go on Judge Judy he should they should have him on Judge Judy she have him she, she, would, she would bang her gavel, wouldn't she? Totally! Absolutely bang her gavel on there. Judge Judy Bush. So, he hid it in his tent because he realised what he'd done was a naughty thing, yeah? And he realised that he wouldn't be able to wear the robe anywhere in the public because they'd realise, where did you get that robe from? It looks yeah. too nice for you. Yeah. You know, that's from M&S, not, not Primark. Was it really? Yeah, yeah, it was an M&S robe. Wow! Uh, M&S from Babylon. Um, so... Uh, so uh, yeah, so he wouldn't be able to he wouldn't be able to spend ev- any of the money as well because everybody'd be wondering where did you get the money from? <gasps> yeah. So he instead of that he realised what he'd done was wrong and he hid the money rather than giving it back and owning up to what he'd done he hid the money. That's bad. So fast forward a little bit <laughs> and Joshua is trying to take the city of Ai. The what? The city of Ai. 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 The city of Ai. And of course, the city... Was it the city of nose? It was right in between the city of ears. I know the one. Yeah, you know that place? Yeah. Um, so, he was trying to take the city of Ai. 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 Um, and, uh, of course, the city of Ai was quite a small place. Was it so, closed? Was Ai closed? No, it wasn't closed. If you call that place, do you use the iPhone? Mm. Yes, yes, you're using the iPhone. Uh, Anyway, right, let's try and get through this, Grandpa. So, whilst my train of thought is pulling into the station, the city of Ai was quite a small place. They'd sent out some scouts and they discovered that that they didn't actually need that many soldiers to take it because there wasn't that many people around. So they only sent about 3,000 people to go and battle and take the city. 
But do you know what happened? I don't know, tell me. They failed. No! Yeah, they couldn't take it. Even though they had more people, they had more superior power and weapons and everything like that, and they had this element of surprise, they still couldn't take it. Do you know why? Uh, because their eyes were closed. Well, kind oh, no, of... No, I, I think I know! Oh, do you know, Grandpa? Do you know? Was it because of my bad bloke, Achan? Yes, it was Achan. See, because Achan had sinned. He had stolen the treasures that were put aside for the Lord. Wow. And because he had sinned, God couldn't be with them. And he couldn't fight with them. And he wasn't on their side at that point. Because he can't... He is so righteous, he can't be where sin is. All because of Dirty Achan. All because of Dirty Achan, who keeps on sneezing. Bless you. Bless you, indeed. So, do you know what happened next? I do believe that it's, it's a quite a serious part. It's a very, very serious part, Grandpa. So maybe we'll keep the puns and the jokes for, for a, a little bit, yeah? Okay. Okay, so what happened next was the people heard what happened. And Joshua cried out to God and asked why he hadn't given them the city of Ai. God told Joshua that the people of Israel hadn't kept their side of the covenant and told Joshua that someone had stolen and lied and kept things from Jericho that should have been destroyed or kept for the Lord's treasury. Wow. Yeah. So God told Joshua to have all the people present themselves before the Lord the next day and he would show who had disobeyed. See, so he called all the 12 tri tribes of Israel yeah. together and then he slowly but surely went through them and he, he came across uh, Judah and he came across the family and uh, the, then uh, the family of Zerah and then Achan was there as well. And do you know what? When Achan was singled out by Joshua, he fell to his knees and he confessed what he had done. Wow. And where he had hidden the stolen items. And Joshua sent someone to collect the items from his tent. So Joshua was like Judge Joshua. Yes, Judge Joshua. I've got it. Yep, um, but he was acting on behalf of God. Because yeah. he was listening to what God was saying. And he understood that God wasn't with them because this sin was present in, the, in, their, in their gathering in Israel. Wow. Yep. Really, really serious part now, Grandpa. Achan and his whole family and all the things that were taken to the valley and st were stoned to death. Wow. Yeah, and everything that they owned was burnt. It just shows, doesn't it, how seriously God takes sin. Yes, it's very, very, very serious. Yeah. Very serious. Wow. And it, it just sho it shows you, like, just because there was sin present, God couldn't be with them, they couldn't take the city... And that would have upset a lot of people because a lot of people's families, a lot of people would have died during that, during them trying to take the city of Ai. Yeah. So a lot of families would have been affected. All because Achan had been, had uh, kept the things and hadn't listened to God. Do you know, Tim? Yes. Sometimes I hide things too. Do you? Yes. What so do you hide, Grandpa? Sometimes I, I don't want to admit it, but... I don't want to watch what other people are watching when they're not watching Judge Judy. Oh, okay. So I steal the remote control. Oh, you and steal. I, so that's where it goes. And I, I hide it, but I hide it because I know it's wrong. Yeah, well, yeah, you know that stealing the controller to stop other people is wrong. I know. Yeah, so you need to stop doing that, don't you, Grandpa? What do you need to say? I, I am sorry. Okay. That other people don't like Judge Judy, but I'm even more sorry that I stole it. Okay. Thank you, Grandpa, for for confessing your sin. Do Thank I you. need to be stoned now? No, you don't need to be stoned. Do you know why? Because there's a certain thing that happened later on in the Bible. Oh, is it because you couldn't download a remote control now onto your phone? No, not at all, Grandpa. Oh. The, we, we're, we're back in the Bible now. Sorry, not, I'm not, you, I'm not, on ju not Judge Judy anymore. We're, you, we're back in the Bible. Judge Joshua. Judge Joshua. Yeah, back to Judge Joshua. Right. So we'd fast forward a lot more. Yeah. All the way past. Blah, 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 and we go into the New Testament. Great. And in the New <laughs> Testament, as we've been discovering over the last few weeks, we meet this awesome guy called Jesus. And do you know who Jesus is? He's God's son. He is God's son. And do you know, what does, what does he do? What is the most significant thing he does? Uh, well, he does a lot of amazing things. 
he, he does. Really, I suppose it's when he went to the cross. Yes, that's right. It's when he went to the cross. And do you know what that cross means? Well, I, I think I know. Yep. So I have a go and you can tell me if I'm wrong. I, yes, there we are then. I, I think that Jesus didn't do anything wrong. He had nothing to hide. That's right. And, and yet, God punished him for all of our mistakes. That's right, Grandpa. And you... so the punishment that we should have got from the judge, Jesus got. That's right. That is absolutely correct. So you see, these are two parts of God's character. God is a righteous judge because he has to judge us because he has asked us to be good. He has asked us to, uh, he cannot be in the same place as sin. Wow. And because he wants a relationship with us, he wants us to be good. And the only way that we manage to be good enough to meet with God is through Jesus. Wow. And through the sacrifice that he did on the cross. So God is both judge and saviour. That's How amazing. How awesome is that? It really, really is. It's awesome. So thank you very much, Grandpa, for helping me tell the story today. That's okay. I've been very helpful. You have been very helpful. Now, I, I, I do think this has been my best one yet. Yes, I think it definitely has been your best one yet. And I would like to thank, well, me. Well, yes, I'd like to thank you too. Thank you! Oh, Grandpa! Yes! I, um, I dropped off some new DVDs of Judge Judy for you. Yep. Jim, you're amazing! No problem, you're Grandpa. You're welcome any time. Right. I will see you soon, okay? Good. I'll come bring you a cup of tea later. Thank you. I'm going to go to sleep now. Okay, go and have a nap. I haven't had a sleep, sleep for about 12 minutes. <laughs> Bye-bye, Grandpa. Thanks to you. Bye! Bye! <laughs> How awesome is Grandpa? So, um, so yes, so we've got this, um, we've got this cool craft that we can do now as part of our action. We've got a cool craft that we can do. I'm just going to try and find it now. So, in your uh, packs that you can download, there's this as the back page. And you see it's two circles. One says, God is judge, and it's Psalm 7, 11. And then the other one says, God is saviour, Romans 6, 23. Now, what you can do is you can colour it in and make it into a cool little reversible thing. And actually, we've got a video of the craft being made. Um, if we can just play it now. For this week's craft, you're going to need the handout that we that is available online. So uh, this is just two circles. Uh, one with a judge's hammer on and one with a cross on. So this craft I've titled a judge and saviour. Um, it's to show the two sides of God's character, both judge and saviour. They can't be separated, but that um, those who've been saved through Jesus' death on the cross, they don't have to fear God's judgment because it's behind them. God gave the punishment that you deserved to Jesus and if you trust and believe that Jesus died for your sin you will be saved. Now let's get on to the craft. So we want to colour these in as pretty as possible. So the judge's hammer normally brown but I'll forgive you if you do it other colours. <laughs> uh, and then the cross we can do it different colours, we can even colour the background in something differently. So how about we uh, colour it in like this. So. Yes, you've done all of the colouring in absolutely amazingly. So now we need to take our scissors and we need to cut out each of these circles. So let's see if we can do it now. Fantastic. So we've now got our two circles that are coloured in beautifully. So what do we do with it next? Well, we're going to take either a, a lollipop stick or a ruler or maybe a piece of card and we're gonna attach it to the bottom and then glue the two sides together so that it becomes something that we can turn around. So I'm gonna do that right now really quick. And there we have it. We have our God is judge, Psalm 711 and then if we flip it over and turn our back on sin we see Christ on the cross who died for our sin and took the blame for us and we see God is saviour as well as 
told to us in Romans 6, 23. So yeah, I hope you enjoy doing this craft this morning and you have some wonderful time seeing the two sides of God's uh, attribute and character. Thank you very much for having a go. I'll see you next week. Bye. How cool are they? It's, it's an awesome way of reminding yourself that even though God is a righteous judge and he has every right to be ju judgmental, at the same time, he absolutely adores and loves us. So he is both saviour and judge. So we're going to come together for this final bit and we're going to honour God um, and we're going to pray. And then we've got a memory verse as well. We're actually, we've got a bonus two memory verses this week. Um, so we're going to, we're going to bow our heads in prayer and uh, we're going to just come before God now. Dear God, we know we are all sinners who need to be saved. And we are thankful that you are a righteous judge and for sending Jesus to take the punishment that we deserve. Help us to make the right choices this week. We thank you that we can get to know you more and know who you are. Amen. Amen. Right, so the memory verse for this week uh, is, one of them is Psalm... 7, 11, no, I'm getting used to which side of the screen is. And then the other one is Romans 3, 23 to 24. So Psalm 7, 11 is, uh, basically tells us about God being a righteous judge. God judges what is right and God is always ready to punish the wicked. Mm, that sounds scary, doesn't it? It does sound scary. And it is a very difficult bit of the Bible to, to look at. But... Because of the second memory verse, Romans 3, 23 and 24, all people have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. Ugh. People are made right with God by his grace, which is a free gift. They are made right with God by being made free from sin through Jesus Christ. So if you want to try and learn those memory verses, because it just shows you the two sides of this uh, character of God. Uh, being both judge and saviour. So I think that's it for today. Um, we've got, we've had the memory verse, we've had a good little sing, sing along. And like I said, if you want to send in more clips and more updates for next week, that'd be fantastic. Um, the challenges video is coming. I'm sorry, it's a lot, it's a lot more work than I, I initially anticipated um, because there was a lot of entries. So it, it is on its way. Uh, there will be a, a, well, I say a winner. Um, I think we're all winners because we're all going to get to see some great videos. You know what? I want to win. Ah! Um, but uh, it's been absolutely fantastic speaking to you this morning. Thank you so much for sticking around and joining us. Um, I hope you enjoyed the craft. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the sing along um, and uh, learning the awesomeness that is uh, the fact that God is our saviour um, and he loves us. I will see you all next week. Bye.